Let's take a look at the surface area questions. Now you can use a calculator for all of these questions if you want. So question number one says a cube has sides of length eight millimeters and we wanna calculate the surface area. Note it's the surface area, not the volume. Now a cube has got six faces. So each face is eight by eight. So each face has an area of 64 square millimeters. So if it's got six faces, that's simply six lots of 64. So in total, that's 384 millimeter squared. Question two, calculate the surface area of the cuboid below. Well, we know the front is nine by five and the back will also be the same. So it's gonna be nine by five doubled. Nine times five is 45, 45 times two is 90. So it's gonna be 90 square centimeters. And I'll just make a note here that that is the front and the back. The sides is four by five, which is 20 and another 20 on this side over here, which we can't see. So that's 40 square centimeters and that's the sides. And now we're gonna do the top and the bottom. So the, uh, well, if we look at the bottom, it's probably easy. That's nine by four. And of course the top is nine by four as well. Nine multiplied by four is 36 and times two because we're doing the top and the bottom. So that's 72 square centimeters. So I'll just make a note that that is the top and the bottom. So now all we need to do is just add 72, 40 and 90 and we get a grand total of 202 square centimeters and that is the surface area of that cuboid. So here we have, um, oh, it's like a Toblerone box, a, a triangular prism. So what we've got here is a base, which is six times 15. We've also got uh, two slanted sides, which is 15 by five. So I'll just write here sides. 15 times by five times by two, because there's two of them. And then we've got the triangular front and the triangular uh, back. So I'll just write here the triangles. So that's gonna be two lots of, uh, now the formula for a triangle is base times height divided by two. So that's six times by four divided by two. And maybe you've spotted that if you're multiplying six by four by two and then dividing by two, that maybe you can just cancel these off and just do six times four. Six times 15, uh, that comes to a total of, um, again, you can use a calculator here, which is good news. Six lots of 15 comes to 90. 15 times by five times by two comes to 150. And six times four is 24, or two times six times four divided by two, it still comes to 24. So all we need to do is just add these three things together and we get a total of 264. And since this is meters, this is therefore gonna be meters squared. Question number four, we have a square here. It's a square based pyramid. So here we've got a four times by four, which is 16. And here we've got a triangle, which is four by nine. Um, so the area of a triangle is gonna be uh, four times by nine divided by two but we've got four of these triangles, so we need to multiply that by four. And four times nine divided by two times by four comes to 72. 72 plus 16 is 88, and that's gonna be millimeters squared. Question number five. So here uh, we're using pi because we're dealing with a circle. So first of all, we've got two circles. A circle is pi r squared. So we've got two circles, so it's gonna be two lots of pi r squared. So that's gonna be two times by 3.14 times by r, which is the radius, times by three times by three. So the area of the two circles comes to 56.52. Now we need to work out uh, the area of this uh, rectangle here. So we know it's gonna be six, but it's gonna be six multiplied by what? Well, if this is the net of a cylinder, then this dimension here is, this will wrap all around this circle. So it's the circumference of a circle. And the formula for the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter. So it's gonna be six times by 3.14 times by, well, the radius is three, so the diameter is six. Six times 3.14 times six comes to 113.04. So add these two figures together 
and you're going to get a grand total of 169.56 and that's square centimeters. And question number six. Now this one uh, it's quite easy to go wrong here so just be really careful that you've calculated every face. So uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six round the back, seven, eight. So we need to make sure that we've got uh, eight faces accounted for here. So this one here is a, a rectangle which is seven by, now this dimension here is the same as this dimension here. So it's seven by six, which is 42. So I'll tick that one off. This one here is not so obvious. We know it's 11 for the whole structure and this height is five. So 11 minus five, this is gonna be a six by six. So six times six is 36. So I can tick that one off as well. This rectangle here, well, this is a dimension of six and this length here is gonna be 15 subtract seven and 15 minus seven is eight. So that is gonna be eight times six, which is 48. So we've ticked that one off as well. This one's not too bad. That's a five times six, which is a 30. Uh, we also got the, um, this side here. So that's 11 multiplied by six, which is 66. So I think we've got most of them accounted for, for apart from the front and the back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We appear to have missed one. Ah, yes, we haven't done the base, which is 15 times by six. It's very easy just to accidentally not account for one of the one of the faces. Um, so that's why I've done this structure, just to make sure that I don't accidentally miss one off. I nearly forgot the base there. 15 multiplied by six is 90. Now, the final thing we need to calculate is this compound shape here, this L-shaped structure. So what, we, what I'm gonna do is break it down into two rectangles. So this is an 11 by seven, which so this part here is 77, and this part here is gonna be a five by eight, which is a 40. So we've got 77 plus the 40. Again, you can use a calculator here, and that's 117. So we've got two lots of 117 because we, we've got 117 on the front and 117 on the back, and that comes to 234. So all we need to do is add all of these numbers together. There's eight faces in total. I've only got seven here because this is the two times 117 for the front and the back. And if we add all of this together, then that should come to a total of 546 square centimeters.